so the, there was the concept of Anil. Anil is the energy that he wanted to ask to, to come here um, and to guide us in the darkness um, to justice. So ne next we want to ask the family, it's very important for the family also to incorporate their Catholic traditions into this initial prayer. And they've asked Father Mo Moises Agudo uh, from St. Peter's Parish to please say a prayer today for Luis. Thank you, Father Moises. Vamos a hacer ahora una oración que la Iglesia, después del primer aniversario, pide que hagamos por nuestros difuntos, para que el Señor no deje en vano lo que ha sucedido hace un año en este, en este lugar. Vamos a pedir especialmente por la familia, para que Dios también les dé consuelo y esperanza, para también que las autoridades asuman con responsabilidad que no se puede tomar la vida de las personas, ni antes, ni después, ni durante de la misma vida. Entonces vamos a hacer ahora una oración pidiéndole al Señor consuelo para la familia, esperanza para todos nosotros y justicia para este país. En el nombre del Padre, del Hijo, del Espíritu Santo. Amén. Hermanos, estamos ante una de las realidades más duras de la existencia humana. Un ser querido ha terminado ya la etapa terrena de su existencia y se ha separado de nosotros para comenzar a vivir la vida eterna. A nosotros, sin embargo, este paso que nuestro hermano ha dado nos llena de dolor, porque los vínculos sensibles de afecto que nos unían a él han quedado rotos, pero solamente los vínculos visibles desaparecieron, pues los sobrenaturales más íntimos se han estrechado más con Jesucristo. Para Dios no hay muertos, solo vivos, es Dios de vivos, solo se ha cumplido su decreto de que todo hombre tiene que dar este paso. Este es el verdadero sentido de la muerte cristiana, que vivimos como peregrinos en la tierra, esperando dar este paso que habrá de introducirnos en la vida eterna. Para nosotros la muerte no es el final de todo, sino la posesión de todo. No es tinieblas, sino luz resplandeciente que se origina en en el sol de la resurrección. Pidamos por nuestro hermano Luis, a Jesucristo, nuestro Señor, que dijo, yo soy la resurrección y la vida, el que cree en mí, aunque muera vivirá, y todo el que vive y cree en mí, no morirá jamás. Tú que lloraste por la muerte de Lázaro, enjuga nuestras lágrimas. Tú que llamaste a los muertos a la vida, dale a nuestro hermano la vida eterna. Tú que prometiste el paraíso al ladrón arrepentido, introduce en el cielo a este nuestro hermano. Tú que lavaste a nuestro hermano con el agua del bautismo y lo confirmaste con la unción sagrada, cuéntalo entre tus elegidos. Tú que alimentaste a nuestro hermano con el sagrado banquete de tu cuerpo y de tu sangre, admítelo en la mesa de tu reino. Y a nosotros, Señor, que estamos afligidos por la muerte de nuestro hermano, Anímanos con el consuelo de la fe, la esperanza y la vida eterna. Fieles a la recomendación del Salvador y siguiendo sus divinas enseñanzas, nos atrevemos a decir, Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo, santificado sea tu nombre. Venga a nosotros tu reino, hágase tu voluntad en la tierra como en el cielo. Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día. Perdona nuestras ofensas, como también nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden. No nos dejes caer en la tentación y líbranos del mal. Amén. Señor Padre Santo, Dios Todopoderoso y Eterno, humildemente te suplicamos por tu siervo Luis, a quien has llamado de este mundo. Dígnate llevarlo al lugar del descanso, de la luz y de la paz. Oremos por la familia. Padre de misericordia y Dios de todo consuelo, que nos amas con amor eterno, que cambian las sombras de la muerte en aurora de la vida. Te rogamos que veas a estos hijos tuyos afligidos por esta tribulación e injusticia. Sé tú, Señor, nuestro refugio y nuestra fuerza, 
para que por medio de este dolor y de esta aflicción lleguemos a tu luz y tu paz. Y ya que tu Hijo nuestro Señor con su muerte destruyó nuestra muerte y con su resurrección nos devolvió la vida, concédenos que después de esta vida mortal lleguemos a su presencia en donde están nuestros hermanos que nos han precedido y en donde todo llanto tendrá consuelo. Por Jesucristo nuestro Señor. Amén. Y la bendición de Dios Todopoderoso, Padre, Hijo y Espíritu Santo, descienda sobre nosotros y este lugar y permanezca para siempre. Amén. Muchas gracias. Don, do you want to just give us a sense of the prayer? Yeah. Um, this prayer was offered by um, uh, Father Moisés Moises Ayudo for... Uh, who is uh, at the St. Peter's Parish for the, the eternal life of Luis, also for consolation and hope um, for the family, and also for the authorities to take responsibility for their actions. And all of this is offered in the, in the Catholic tradition. <laughs> Thank you. So next I want to invite Karina Gold. She's an Ohlone leader. The Ohlones were the original native people of this land. She's a Native American leader. And she's gonna give us some words also for the family, for the spirit of Luis, for our spirits, and the tradition of her people. Corina Gold nos acompaña. Ella es descendiente de los Ohlone, que eran los originales, la gente original, el pueblo original de estas tierras. Ella nos va, va a acompañar también para decir algunas palabras para la familia, para el espíritu de Luis, para nuestros espíritus en la tradición de su pueblo. Porche tuhi ka'at la shanka ka'at ra'at karina. Good day, relatives. Um, I want to just say thank you for uh, allowing me to be here on behalf of my ancestors the ancestors of this land. Uh, we are in Yolamu, that's the name of this place. And I wanna offer a prayer um, here in our, in our territory um, for the family of those uh, for, of Luis and for the, for the uh, folks that are working to make sure that justice is served here um, in this territory. And one of the things that we do is that we lay down tobacco in this area where Luis was and we, um, ask that Luis, um, his spirit continues to, to go on to his ancestors and that we clean this space and that we're able to clean our hearts as well and that we take care of those things. And then I'm going to pour a little water right here behind this tree and this tree um, and we give thanks for the, the waters that are coming to clear us all up. Um, so with that, I'm going to offer a prayer. Grandfathers and grandmothers, Creator, thank you for this day. We thank you for this circle of beautiful people that have come here on behalf of Luis. We thank you for his family and for their courage. We thank you for uh, allowing us to be here in a circle and in prayer on our traditional territories. We ask that our ancestors come here today, that they fill our hearts, that they give us courage and strength to do the things that we need to do. We continue to ask for justice. We continue to ask for the things that need to be done so that this can be, be a good thing, that Luis helps us to learn things by his life that he left here. We ask that Luis's spirit goes to his ancestors, that my ancestors help him to make that, that final journey there, that we are filled with love and gratitude for the, what he has brought to us. We ask that we continue to come together in communities that we continue to work together in order to make sure that these things don't happen again. We ask that our children learn from us as adults, that we, that we bring them the good things that they need in order to make differences in their lives. We ask for the seven generations. We ask for prayers for them that they are strong, just like our ancestors seven generations ago prayed for us. We thank you for the rains that came here to wash away all of the stuff that we don't need and to bring us good things in the spring so that we can have good food and sustenance and medicines for our lives. We thank you for all of these things. We ask you to continue to take care of us and give us those, those journeys that we need in order to make us sustaining here on this land. 
We ask that you continue to bless the family, that you go into their hearts and you lighten it, that you take care of them in this in these going days, that we continue to take care of all of each other right now and the things that we're supposed to do on this earth to make it better for the next seven generations. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. Don, could you give us, uh, for the family in Spanish, a sense of what uh, Corina said? Um, sí, estamos aquí pidiendo a los ancestros, pues agradeciéndoles todo lo que um, el agua, la tierra y el sentido de, de unión que tenemos aquí. Y pidiendo que, eh, um, que la muerte de Luis sea algo que nos lleve a algo de bien aunque estamos aquí uh, lamentando su muerte que algo bonito puede salir de, uh, de eso que sea la, la justicia que sea la de donde que sea algo que nos lleve a 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 algo so um, I'm going to ask next the family I want the family to come here. Jose, the brother, is going to say a few words. But I want the family here. A ver, familia. Sí, la familia de Luis, Don Carlos, Jose, María Inés. ¿Quién más, eh, ¿Quién más está aquí? Cuidado con las velas, pero si te pueden parar uh, aquí. A ver, uh, he's going to stand right there. A ver, Jose, si te puedes poner aquí. A ver, este, Carlos, ¿quién se puede decir esto? Luis. Marines, ah, Gris. Okay, can I get the mic now? Can I get a mic? Hello. 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 Okay. That's a funny name. Can you help him? Just uh, um, hold it. I see. I, I mean, maybe you can get behind or just. Okay. 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 So the next words are from Jose. He was very close to Luis. When Jose was born, he was born a twin. His twin died before the year. And Luis, and he adopted Luis as his twin. They grew up very close together. Accompanying him are also his cousins and his brother Carlos. This is Luis's older brother, Carlos, the youngest brother, the oldest brother. They're representing the family today. Aquí está la familia de Luis. Está el hermano mayor y el hermano menor. Y juntos está aquí la familia, los primos alrededor de él. Y José va a decir unas palabras para su hermano, que fue un gemelo para él. Cuando José nació, él tenía un gemelo. Y antes del año murió su gemelo. Y él adoptó a Luis como su gemelo. Ellos eran cercanos. Ellos hicieron todo junto en la vida. ¿Estás listo? Necesitamos que hables al, al, al micrófono. Sure, when this time. No, it's not working. No working. Okay, we're just going to move on. Um, Jose, dinos lo que tienes que decirle a Luis. Muy buenos días a todo uno cada de ustedes. Hoy es un día, es un gran día para mí. 
recordar en memoria de Luis Demetrio Gómez Grafat, es un día especial para mí, gracias por estar todos, cada uno de ustedes que me están apoyando y me están acompañando, les agradezco mucho. Hoy es un año que el gran aniversario de Luis de Nuestro Gómez para no olvidarlo, que fue asesinado por la policía. Por todo el apoyo de, de ustedes y mis primos y que están aquí presentes, que me están apoyando hasta ahora. Con todo el esfuerzo de, de la gente acá conmigo, me siento muy, muy contento y feliz y me siento muy emocionado de ver tanta gente que, claro. como no tengo especialmente mi familia acá, pues ustedes son parte de mi familia. Gang, do you want to try to translate? Yeah. Maybe can you try to use the megaphone, see if we can get it going? Okay. I'll just project my yeah. voice. I'm going to translate as much as, as I can of what Jose shared. Uh, this is a very important day for him, remembering that his brother was killed one year ago today. Um, he's happy to be here with his cousins. He's very grateful that all of you have come out um, as his brother was assassinated by the police a year ago today. Um, your support is really valuable. And um, since he doesn't have his immediate family here, he has his extended family, his cousins, but having all of you here is um, very meaningful. And he's very moved. And um, he's very moved on this big day that it is for him to be here remembering his brother uh, with all of you. Thank you. Don Carlos, ¿usted quiere decir algo? Está bien. Okay. So we're now going to clear a little bit of space because the next prayer is a prayer in motion that are danzantes. There's been an open call for danzantes and then several groups have joined, joined to give a, a prayer in their tradition, in their Aztec tradition. We're going to give them a moment to set up. Anyway, as we're getting ready here for the dancers, uh, this is your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan, uh, broadcasting from San Francisco. And the one year anniversary of Luis Congora Pot is murdered by the San Francisco Police Department.
gracias. Vamos a asistir con ustedes esta, esta mañana a, hasta donde se, se termina este rezo. A, el mundo pide justicia. Los aves, the birds, ask for justice. All the four legged ask for justice. Oh. All of those that swim in the seas and the rivers and the waters ask for justice. Oh. We all ask for justice. Todos pedimos justicia. Los aves, los de cuatro pies, los que los peces, todos pedimos justicia. Y luego entendemos que el dinero with money comes reason supposedly we see all over the world that money is the prime objective in all the decisions that are being made everywhere and just like this neighborhood here money has pretty much created what we're doing today Alex Nieto They want to hide us. They want to put us on the side. They don't want us to be present. And it's not just sometimes the people that have money, but people that aspire to have money also have that same way of thinking. So again, we're here as dancers from a tradition from Mexico. And sometimes when we do these things, we don't get the consent of all of our people to do these types of things. Because even within our own culture and our tradition, there is different ways of thinking. But we hope that by us doing this, that more brothers and sisters will join us the next time we're asked to do something like this or or they're asked to do it somewhere else. Because there's a thing of they, people think that politics and spirituality doesn't mix sometimes. But... I think it's it, it's the opposite. I think that it, that they're both one and the same. The actions of a person are their prayers, and this is what we do. This is our actions. We're we're dancing and we're dancing with our bodies. This is our prayers. These are called corporal prayers. So we want to say thank you to the family of Luis for being strong again and being able to stand up in these times. I know it wouldn't be easy to carry this type of action if, if my loved one was not here anymore. Um, again, we want Luis to rest in peace, and we know that he's cruising the universe. Oh, oh Mateo.
thank you for your energy. I want to give a shout out to the Brown Marines in the house. <laughs> This is your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan. We're here in San Francisco in the Mission District uh, for the first anniversary. Uh, excuse me, sorry. Oops, sorry, sorry. sorry. Hey, not too bad. Trying to make my own. Oh, you're going to know. Oh, there you are. I was wondering where you were. You want to get out in the street, I guess? If we could find a spot between these cars, I guess down there. That's the speaker. I need to be on. Uh, uh, amazingly, there's no police here. I have yet to see a, a single police officer. Oh. Nice police presence for our safety. Yeah, right. I'd like to thank everybody who's watching. Uh, I've been sticking with the Ustream, Ustream platform. Uh, I was working trying Periscope, and I don't like Facebook Live, but no way I would ever trust Facebook Live. It's a good spot for right now. So are we are we going to like roll in a forward direction, and then you're going to hold the camera? Um, now we're just going to we're going to let the march pass by, and we're just going to join the march. What do you think? I got it. Stop. You know, I was just thinking about you as I was coming over here. I said, I haven't seen that guy in a very long time. Yeah, I've been around over in Berkeley. Yeah, I know. Raising hell. Anyway, glad everybody's joining us. Let me check the chat and see if anybody's logged on to the chat. Nope. So we're at a march, we're getting ready to leave, and we're headed towards the Mission District Police Station. And right now we're at 19th and Shotwell. And the clouds are cooperating, and it doesn't look like it's going to rain, which is good, because that would mean the end of the live stream. We have our National Lawyers Guild observers here. Uh, if you need a lawyer and you get arrested, the number is 415-285-1011. And that's our local number for the National Lawyers Guild. And the switchboard will be open until 11 o'clock tonight. Um, the murder of Luis Gangora Hat is all too common here in San Francisco and around the country. Um, if you're homeless and you're a homeless person... You're six and a half times more likely to be killed by the police 
than if you're not homeless. So, a little statistic that I read up today just to present to you. All right, we got the GIMP patrol out. Oh, I shouldn't say that. It's politically incorrect. Only, by the way, only GIMPs can call GIMPs GIMPs. That's the law. It's kind of like the, uh, you know, the fag thing. Only fags can call fags fags. Same way with GIMPs. Anyway, we've got a nice little crowd uh, for a Friday after, in the morning, mid, uh, around noonish. About 100, 150 people. And it looks like the Mayan community has definitely presented themselves here today. Oh, sure. How you doing, babe? Yeah, I was wondering. I was going to ask you. You probably be at five o'clock. Paul Mark at that. He bombed last night in Syria. Oh yeah. So there's a protest at five. Five o'clock, Paul Mark. Donald Trump's nuts, huh? Going crazy. Oh yeah. Well, Donald Trump's nuts. We knew that. We knew that a long, long time ago. Kids got killed, shot, and burned. All right. That's uh. Uh, what's the brother's name? What's Luis's brother? Anyway, he's Luis's younger brother is going to be. Yeah, he's going to be carrying a cross through the march. He's very well organized by Adriana Cabarino, the lady who's speaking. Yeah, no, she's got the whole thing down. It's together. Running a few minutes late, but that, that comes from a man that's late to absolutely everything. So. Oh, yeah, see, I'm never late. <laughs> right, here we the go. The harder I try to be on time or early, the later I, 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 I and the more hurt I get getting there. Yeah, well, your family, you didn't grow up in the military. Yeah. The military, everything is hurry up and wait. Yeah. That, that was the hardest part. The answers, they show up for lots and lots of stuff around here in the Bay Area. You see them all over. Any Native Native American protests, they're bound to be there. Yeah, these folks. Well, oh, guy, he's got quite the hairdo, eh? We're getting ready to leave. Hang on there, folks. No, no chatting. Nobody likes me enough to chat. Yeah, and hopefully uh, this march will not be uh, a race like usually are. Uh, yeah, you turn into racist, especially if it's a bunch of young people leading the march, right? I think this one will be a lot slower because. They're going to be dancing and you know. yeah, yeah, we got yeah, we haven't seen one San Francisco police officer out here yet today. I expect we're going to see a bunch of police. Oh, no, they're, they're I've, I've seen twenty. Okay, well they're maintaining a low profile. Justice for Luis 
Gora passed. Justice for Luis Gongora Pat. When I say Luis Gongora Pat, you say Presente. Luis Gongora Pat. 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 Presente. How you doing there, Russ? All right. Pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> yeah, 5 o'clock. I might just stay in town today. Yeah. Police. Yeah, Russ has been a... Uh, he was uh, with us at all of our uh, protests over in Berkeley. Helping us out when the police were coming and all that good stuff. Justice. Right, Russ is he's a quality now. dude. Justice. Now. All right, now we're on the the boring part of the live stream. It's good to see all the familiar faces out there today. As we wind our way through the streets of the Mission District, and this neighborhood has been completely transformed. Like, since I first moved here back in 1982, I mean, literally, this whole neighborhood has been gentrified. It's really been a crying shame what's been going on around here. And Luis's death is pretty much the, the icing on the cake when it comes to gentrification here. It's not even it's, good development. No. It's, it's, it's shitty, stupid development. So... Luis was, uh, you know, his, was the uh, thing that took the cake to demonstrate how drastically San Francisco has changed as a city. And for those of you watching that are not familiar, it's not for the better. Now they're turning it into Fresno. Yeah. We'll have a TGA on Friday. Right, that used to be a Hispanic restaurant there on the corner of that street for him. Yeah. 
Gongora Pat. Justice for Luis 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 Gongora Pat. Indict, convict, send those killer cops to jail. The whole damn system is guilty as hell. Indict, convict, send those killer cops to jail. The whole damn system is guilty as hell. Indict, convict, send those killer cops to jail. The whole damn system is guilty as hell. Indict, convict, send those killer cops to jail. The whole damn system is guilty as hell. Indict. Convict, send those killer cops to jail. The whole damn system is guilty as hell. Indict, convict, send those killer cops to jail. The whole damn system is guilty as hell. Indict, convict, send those killer cops to jail. The whole damn system is guilty as hell. Mission Street here in San Francisco. Presente.
Oh, we got cops looking at me. We're being followed. I think we're being pulled over. I don't have any registration. I'm sorry. Well, we got to ride through the fucking march, dude. We don't need you here. And we don't want you here. Go, motherfucker. Go, motherfucker. Go. Get your fucking motorcycle out of here, asshole. Right? Try to intimidate people. Keep that motorcycle out of here, asshole! Valencia Street. I used to live here. Now this is the street where gentrification really jumped off like a rocket. You know they got a whole line of cops up here. See all those guys with their their green jackets on? You know they're Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking the same thing, right? I was thinking the same thing. of the, the cop shop and here at 17th of Valencia Street. Oh, 
Oh, these guys look like the tax squad, too. Oh, you know they're going to be out here for riot duty. They live to be people. Uh, Son of a bitch! Son of a bitch! Son of a bitch! Officer E L I E F F F Badge number thirty-six. No, no. Still haven't gotten justice for Alex Nieto. That was Carl Lopez, who was also murdered by San Francisco police. Got around, everybody. In addition to Louis Cagora. You know, then the uh, cops got They've got speakers coming up.
prepared today. He's going to read it first in Spanish, and I'm going to read the translation. Sí, buenos días a todos. Mi nombre es Luis Armando Potpat. Hold on, technical difficulties. Aquí, al lado de las imágenes de tu primo. Aquí. Sorry. Mi nombre es Luis Armando Potpat. Soy primo de Luis Bongora. Pat. Estoy un poco nervioso. Pero quiero agradecerles a todos ustedes por acompañarnos por estos momentos difíciles que estamos viviendo. Hoy un año que mataron a mi primo. Hoy es un año de aniversario que estamos pasando todos los días con muchos problemas psicológicos. Y hoy quiero agradecerles a todos ustedes que nos dan mucha fuerza para seguir adelante. Y quiero leerles esto porque se me hace un poco mejor, más fácil para mí. Así que quiero dejarles saber cómo pasaron los hechos el día del incidente de mi primo. Aquí en esta estación salía, salieron los asesinos de mi primo. Aquí en esta estación está donde exigen mucho dinero a la ciudad para que esta gente no haga su trabajo y ciertas personas estén encubriendo a los malos policías. Mi nombre es Luis Potpat, soy primo de Luis Góngora Pat. Aquí estamos frente a la estación de la policía de la misión. Es de aquí donde salieron los dos asesinos de mi primo. Lo encontraron sentado en la calle Shadwell con la 19 y lo mataron injustificada y cruelmente. En menos de 28 segundos lo asesinaron. Hoy es un año desde que pasó el incidente y, y el día y al día ningún oficial de la ciudad de San Francisco se ha tomado la molestia de notificarnos su muerte. Un año después, ni el jefe de policía, ni Gascón, ni ningún otro oficial ha tenido la cortesía de decirnos cómo va avanzando el caso de mi primo. En la funeraria aquí a la vuelta es donde velamos al cuerpo de mi, del difunto. Fueron tiempos traumáticos para la familia. Lo pasamos muy mal junto con su hermano José. Pero gracias a la comunidad tomamos la fuerza para levantarnos y luchar por su causa. Por su causa de justicia. Como familia de mi primo no lo desearía, no le desearía esa tra a, tragedia a nadie. Desgraciadamente, me fui enterando de todas las otras personas asesinadas por la policía. En esos días, lo más difícil de mi vida, en que hasta la fecha no se le ha hecho ninguna justicia por el fiscal del distrito, el cubridor de los malos policías. Yo no sé si le pagan o si le tienen miedo al sindicato de la policía. Pero sí, no puede hacer su trabajo que renuncie. ¿Para qué le sigue mintiendo al público, cobrando dinero y haciéndonos pasar malos momentos? Gascón, ponte los pantalones. Por una vez en la vida, cumple con tus obligaciones. ¿Qué es para, qué es para eso que te pagan? Lo que quiere la familia es que esos dos malos policías que mataron a mi primo, que le caiga el peso de la ley y que los pongan en las casas. Muchas gracias. My name is Luis Putpat. I am the cousin of Luis Gongorapat. Here we are in front of the Mission Police Station. The two murderers of my cousin came from here. They found him sitting on Shotwell Street and 19th, and he was unjustifiably and cruelly killed. In less than 28 seconds, 
he was killed. Today is a year since the incident happened, and no San Francisco City Authority has ever bothered themselves to notify us of his death. A year later, neither the chief of police, nor Gascon, nor any other authority has had the courtesy to tell us the stage of progress in my cousin's case. At the funerary parlor, around the corner from here, we held a wake for the body of the deceased. Those were traumatic times for the family. We had a very bad time, along with his youngest brother, Jose. But thanks to the community, we took strength to stand up and fight this cause for justice. As family of my cousin, I would not wish this tragedy on anyone. Unfortunately, in those days, the most difficult of my life, I became aware of all the other people killed by the police. And to date, no justice has been done by the district attorney, the a better of bad cops. I do not know if you are paid off, if you are afraid of the police union, but if you cannot do your job, resign. Instead, you continue to lie to the public, charging a salary and making us go through bad times. Gaston, grow a pair. For once in your life, fulfill your obligations, which is what you're paid for. What the family wants is for those two bad cops who killed my cousin to feel the weight of the law and get put in jail. Yes. Powerful words from... Yeah, why do we even need guns? I'm going to ask another community leader to come up here. You may have seen her before right outside this police station. A powerful woman. Sure. You may have seen her outside this police station for days in a hunger strike. She was here because Luis Gongarapat's killing was the latest killing in the string of unaccountable police murders. It's my pleasure to introduce Cristina Gutierrez. <laughs> Well, it is very emotional for me to be here because on the 21st of this month, there will be a year since we had the hunger strike. And I'm very happy to say that we force these goddamn people to get rid of that racist piece of garbage that was supposed to be the, what you call them? Chief the chief of police. police. Chief of police. So we did it. The chief of police. And we deserve ourselves to be very happy with that. And what it means is that the people have the power, nobody, but in order to have the power, we have to be full with love and commitment. Right. right. Because when we came here with my son, and Edwin Lindo and everyone else who was on the hunger strike, we were full of love and we were ready to go all the way to find justice because there is no greater love, I said then. I said today, and I will be here the 21st to say there's no greater love than the one who's willing to give his life for his friend, for his brother. Because there's going to be no justice unless we do that. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So yeah. After yeah. we finish the hand it's a beautiful movement, and I want to thank Luis Gongorapat because he brought me here. His killing was it. That's what did it to me. I said, a guy who's homeless, who has been abused. Hey, so that's the guy right there. Who has a family back home. Looks different. Has been murdered in less than 30 seconds. Like nothing, like garbage, just because of the color of his skin. Because that's what they do to black and brown people. And I decided we need to unite. Yes, I believe in working class and struggle. But I believe that black and brown have to unite. So we can tell you what we want. How we want it and what we want it. And that's it. That's why I walk 
put the way to here, but I had to, a commitment that I made that every Friday we call ourselves mothers on the march, we there in front of Gascon office. Because we want him to charge the police with murder, and I will yeah, not stop yes. until I see that happening. And we need the help and support of everyone yeah, to do that. Because only when the police is charged with murder will they question whether they're going to kill one yeah. of our own ever again. Yeah, it right. is our children. And when we call ourselves mothers on the march, we're not talking only of those who die. But those who are alive, your son, my grandchild, all of them deserve to live in dignity and without fear. I live with fear for my grandchildren because they blast. I live with fear every night when I don't care for my grandson that is 18, 19 years old in college. A good boy. I live in fear for my little ones that are black and they make fun of our school and discriminated and called ugly and black with the N-word. I live with fear of that. I want you to know that I don't want to my grandkids or any of my kids to live with that fear. And I love you all for being here. And even I want to tell you, even I love these ugly people here. I love you <laughs> because you're human beings. But I hate what you do. And I'm going to pray to yes. God to touch your heart and realize that you are committing a crime against humanity. That the racism that you have against your own is unforgivable. And I will say to all of us that we will win this fight no matter what. Yes. Today, yes. my heart is heavy also because that president sent 50 something missiles to kill Obama innocent people. That's what the culture of the United States is all about. About murder and crime. And it is our voice, I have to say, enough. No more. We're ready to fight to the end. Yes. 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 Ten. He was sitting on the ground. The witness statements tell us this. The autopsy tells us this. That he shielded himself. He turned away from the police as they shot beanbag rounds and bullets into his back. As he stood, he stood frightened, propelled in part by the shots. That's what witnesses have told us. It was just brief, a moment that he stood and fell back down. He probably got turned by the shots. Right. And now he's facing the cops. Can you tell me the angle of the shot to his head? From the top down. From the top From to the, the down. down. That's a downward trajectory top shot to the straight down. into his down. head. That's an ex execution shot when he was down on the ground. Can you see the other banner? Can you guys come forward for a second? Shady. The banners, can you come forward for a second? Can you see all those names on that list? Those were the killings from 2013 to 2016. Officer involved shootings. Alex Nieto, Giovanni Contreras, O'Shane Evans, Matthew Hoffman, Amilcar Perez Lopez, Alex Brown, Herbert Benitez, Javier Lopez Garcia, Mario Woods, Luis Góngora, Jessica Williams, and there have been more. More killed and hurt beyond this list. Can you see how many have been indicted for murder? How many cases have even been closed? Just one. One, the case of Alex Nieto, which the Gaston declined to press charges. The rest are open, 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 open. 
As Luis says, Gascón, ponte los pantalones. The closest translation is Gascón, grow a pair. Equipto. Come on up. What's up, e? Oh, there you go. Power to the people. <laughs> All right. About, a, I guess, a year ago today, right, Officer Michael Maloney and Sergeant Nate Seeger rode up on 19th and Shawell within 28 seconds, murdered Luis Gongora. I remember that happening, and then there was a town hall meeting that same night. Right, for Mario Woods Coalition over there in the mission. And there was a big black and brown marriage going on around that time. You know what I mean? Like in the city of San Francisco with the baby community and the mission. And uh, I, and it was it was beautiful. It was it was beautiful and it was moving. And I went I went to my mother's job at Compañeros del Barrio when that happened and um, she was she was in tears at the computer, she was watching the, the footage of Luis. And um, it was it was it was that moment where she came and she said, "I think we got to do something a little bit extreme because they're not listening to us, you know." And that's when she said we should do a hunger strike. I think we need to get back to that community, you know what I mean, with the black and brown coming together. Talk about we got we fell off a lot from a year ago. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I love it, and I love us coming together, but I'm just being honest with everybody because we got to stop being so selfish with our struggles and, and, our, and our movements and just come together and fight because all we, we, this is what we're fighting for. We try to make history in San Francisco, right? Damn right. You're damn right. Yeah. We want a pig to be charged with murder for the first time in San Francisco. Yeah. Yeah. This is Tried what it's going to take. Yeah. You understand? People looked at my mom as crazy. You know what I mean? They looked at us as crazy for me. Now, you're never going to do nothing. You never, ain't nothing going to happen. These people are not listening to you. They don't give a shit about they you. They don't care. And yes, it did take Jessica Nelson to get slain and murdered up in there. You know what I'm talking about? They're going to sweep that shit under the rug if it wasn't for the community to come together and put it on Fourth Street of what's going on in San Francisco. Because you know it's still going on. Yeah. The gentrification is still going on. They're still pushing out our community. They're going to try to wipe this... They're, they're trying to ethically cleanse this whole city. You know what I'm saying? So it's up to us. And they're looking at us. You know, they're looking at the people who's left that's ready to fight for San Francisco. Who else is left? Who else has a little bit of energy and some courage yeah. to fight for San Francisco? Because that's what it's going to take. Yeah. Because they're not going to do nothing until they get some type of fear in them. And that's our job. We have to bring that fear to these policemen, to these cops, to these pigs, whatever you want to call them. These people that are patrolling our neighborhoods and our communities and murdering our folks and our brothers and sisters. Ain't this right. is what it's going to take, us to come together. You know what I'm talking about? I know we all have our differences, but this is the time right now. This is the time right now for us to come together because, we, yeah, we have this president that's going on, right? But I know Obama been bombing Syria. Am I right? You're damn right. So let's not look for excuses to fight. Let's not wait for incidents to fight. It's going to take us to fight every single fucking day. And I excuse my language, but I'm a little bit moved, especially watching my mother talk, and she got me all fired up. So it's very important. Y'all ready to keep marching, though? Y'all ready to keep marching? We're going to take this to Market in Valencia in a little bit. We're going to take it to the steps of City Hall. And I think it's very important. Let's keep outreaching with each other. You know, we need the OGs. We need the youth. We need the peer, my peers. We need everybody involved in this to understand to fight now before it hits home. Because once it hits home, it's gonna be, it's not too late, but it's we need momentum. You know, we're not gonna cross the finish line holding hands and we're not gonna get there like that, but we could bring momentum yeah, for the next generation to be Give aware of what's seat. going on with our people. Power to the people, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Give them a Pepsi. Okay guys, our next stop is Luis's stolen home. It's on Market and Valencia. We're gonna stop at a little park called McCoppin Health, and that's where we're going to say a few words about his life story and the many intersecting issues in the city. I have just one request, like if you have, if you're thirsty, there's a little rolling cart with water, 
Um, it's a little roller cart. You can find it. It's a blue, blue cooler. And then also, uh, we just had a police officer on a motorcycle just almost hit people in the march because he was just doing his job. You know, when they, these people do their jobs, sometimes they kill you. So, if you just, if you see them coming, just get out of their way. So, I don't want any of you to get hurt by cops today who are, you know, keeping you safe. Lanzantes, take it away. Yeah, has anybody got a Pepsi? Yeah. I need to get a Pepsi. And then the, and then and everything will be magically healed when you give the police a Pepsi. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, fuck the police. Fuck you, tax squad bitches, riding around all day in your little toys. How horrible am I? What exactly? Are we ready to are march? Fighting, bitch. Come on, dog. A little more energy. Are we ready to march? Yeah. Justice for Luis Gongora. Justice for Luis How do you spell murder? S F B D. How do you spell murder? S F B D. How do you spell murder? S F B D. How do you spell murder? S F B D. How do you spell murder? S F B D. How do you spell murder? S F B D. How do you spell murder? Now we got a police escort. Sure. Blue streets. You guys want to get back? Blue streets. In jail. Convict. Then those gang cars in jail. The whole damn system is getting the ass out. In jail. Convict. Then those gang cars in jail. The whole damn system is getting the ass out. In jail. Convict. Then those gang cars in jail. The whole damn I've seen on YouTube where the cops just come in and surround everybody, and whoever's inside the circle goes to jail. I prefer to be outside the circle. <laughs> what do we want? 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 I appreciate the concept, but I'm more of a civil disobedient kind of guy. As long as I'm civil, I'll be disobedient. Obviously, he doesn't get the point of protesting, does he? Right? It's to stop traffic. You know, he was nice.
See, what they don't get is that they're protecting people's privilege to drive, right? Like, we don't have that privilege. We have people in our community that are getting I, murdered well, every fucking the, day by the police. I right? used to have the privilege to drive till my car was impounded 25 yeah. times. Yeah, I know. But what I'm saying is, is they're basically protecting people's privilege to drive, right? right? And we don't have that privilege because they're trying to kill us. Yeah. Well, no. So I, that's, I what you, you know, that's, that's what you say when they say, no, when you say shit like that. We have no privilege. You're murdering people in our community. Under the guise of maintaining law and order. Which we really know who the real criminals are. Right. It's, it's protecting the status quo. And right now the status quo is all about gentrifying San Francisco. It's all up to the highest bidder, baby. He with the most buck, bucks gets to live in San Francisco. And everybody else gets to live out in the streets. And this is what happened to so many people. And it happened to Louis Cagora Pat was another victim of gentrification here in San Francisco. Right? And if you, you're homeless... You stand a six and a half times better chance of getting killed by the police than if you're not homeless. So, basically, all these cops are just agents of gentrification. It's all they serve to do. They're not protecting anybody. Right? Try calling a cop. Right? When you have problems. Right? Get them to show up. Right? Takes them a half an hour to even, if they even decide they want to show up. So that's what people have to contend with here in San Francisco today. And not just here, but Oakland, Berkeley, the entire Bay Area is up for sale. And the cops are here to protect that. Traffic go down the street. Hell no. Bicycles, yes. Everybody else, no. Now we got other people that are standing in support.
there. Sin justicia, no hay paz. 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 Great job of organizing. Right, great job of organizing. What's the point of people going to show up? Well, yeah, we got a pretty good crowd. SFPD. I spell murder. 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 SFPD. I spell. We got about 100 people here, maybe 1 to 25.
la misma pendejada, la amiga y policía, la misma pendejada, la amiga y policía, la misma pendejada. It's about with police, it's all about lines. Oh, yeah. Right? Lines are what got us into this mess in the first place. Right? Yeah. Putting a line on thing and saying it's mine and yours, and you can cross that line or you can't cross that line. Yeah. Right? And it's amazing how much society is drawn up that way. I mean, the fence here is a perfect example of that. Right, yeah. We built this public park, but then because homeless people hang out here, they fence it off. Yeah, San Francisco, they're afraid of the homeless. Yeah. Definitely. Well, not all of us, but too many. I pass by this shit every day. I've never had anyone bother me there. People are just looking for a place to sit. Right. I know. I know you know. I know while I'm about <laughs> sitting. Why the hell do you think I carry around my wheelchair, dude? Right, right. I have to have a place to sit when I come over to San Francisco because... There ain't no places to sit in San Francisco. It's fucking true, man. Right? Try to get a glass of water, use the bathroom, find a place to sit. There ain't none. They're like, take that shit to the East Bay. That's why I live over the East Bay. Yeah. That's amazing. Like, you know how much friendlier a place like Berkeley is compared to here? Especially if you're in a political protest. Anyway, we're dancing in Remembrance. It's building here. This side. I don't know what color would you call it. Beige, dark brown, whatever. Anyway, that's the building where Louis Kogorev and his brother live. Before they were forcibly evicted. And that place is... Oh my god, you don't even want to know what's going on in that place. Mold and rats. The owner got sued for like a bunch of money because he wasn't keeping the place up. So, we'll just go from there.
Yeah, yeah it's 6.30 the branch is not that way. Pleasure to work with. 
in a different coalition in a different space. Um, Gloria Esteves. Um, so, la próxima que va a hablar es Gloria Esteves, que yo tengo la cortesía de trabajar con ella en otra coalición. Junta es una mujer súper chingona. Y yo, yo, I, I strive to be like her when I get a little bit older. No, not too much older. A little bit older. <laughs> so, aquí está Gloria Esteves con Casa Junta. Gloria! Bueno, hoy quiero dar este discurso con todo mi corazón y con todo el dolor que, que me causa de cómo nos están exterminando a los pobres, a los de color en este, en este país, ¿verdad? En el que hemos estado trabajando tan fuerte para sacar adelante a nuestros hijos. Y nuestro camino casi siempre ha sido la discriminación, un salario para malvivir, mucha, muchísima pobreza, falta de todos los servicios y aún así nosotros, los inmigrantes, seguimos construyendo porque no creemos en la destrucción, creemos en la construcción amorosa de los seres humanos. Today, I want to speak from my whole heart about how we, the poor, the people of color, are exterminated in this country where we work so hard. Our journey is one of discrimination, bad wages, poverty, and no services. But still, we immigrants, we build because we don't believe in destruction. We believe in the construction of humankind. Y quiero decirles que nosotros, los seres humanos, los que sabemos amar, los que estamos aquí y vamos a hacer alcance a todos los que son como nosotros, para crear una justicia diferente, para crear un espacio diferente, porque yo he escuchado ese nombre del jefe de la policía, Gascón, desde hace muchos años, está, dice que trabajando para la comunidad, y yo no veo ningún cambio. Yeah. We, we are the ones who will have to learn how to construct and reach out to each other, to our peers, to work together. Because that name, Gaston, I've heard it before. I've heard that name saying he's going to help us. He doesn't help one bit. Y quiero unir hoy la desgracia de Luis porque tenemos que ver de dónde surge que él estaba en la calle. De dónde surge que él no tenía casa, cuando aquí él estuvo pagando con su esfuerzo, con su trabajo, un espacio para vivir, un espacio para lograr unos pesos para mandarle a su familia, para mantener un hogar. Y como él, hay muchos que ahorita en San Francisco, cuando caminamos, los vemos, porque han perdido su trabajo, porque le sirvieron inclusive a este país en la guerra y están en la calle. Tenemos, tenemos compañeros que detenernos ante esos vecinos. No tenemos que decirles despóticamente o con discriminación hombres. Son nuestros vecinos que viven en la calle. Y Luis Góncora era nuestro vecino. Lo acepten o no, los que no están con nosotros, que él era nuestro vecino en la calle. Y un ser humano hermoso, que no se murió, compañeros, se multiplicó. Todos los hijos, los hermanos de las personas que la policía ha matado, que lo piense esa policía porque se van a seguir multiplicando vamos a seguir luchando porque esa gente que tiene
tiene en sus manos las armas supuestamente para crear la justicia está matando a nuestra gente I can need the sorry we have to put together the tragedies that brought police to be on the street when with the fruit of his work he was paying a space to live he had a home but like many of us who are here you when you fall on hard times and you don't have work and then look out onto the street and see other people just that like Luis hard on their luck without work there are people who served this country in its wars veterans companions compañeros Luis was our neighbor they say homeless but he was our neighbor who lived on the street he was our neighbor who lived on the street He was a human being and he died but he did not go away when he died he multiplied and we need to have the police start thinking about what happens when they kill because we will multiply Voy a terminar diciéndoles que tenemos que trenzar todas nuestras luchas Pequeñas o grandes, tenemos que trenzarlas, porque el monstruo que nos persigue es muy grande, pero nosotros somos más poderosos. Entonces, tenemos que unirnos y tenemos que pensar que solo unidos y organizados vamos a echar abajo toda esa injusticia. Por eso, tratemos cada uno de nosotros de informar a los demás qué está pasando y que se unan a nosotros. Todos estamos mal ante este sistema de injusticias. Todos, tarde o temprano, vamos a caer ante este monstruo de injusticia. Por eso tenemos que unirnos. Gracias. We need to braid our struggles together, small or big. We need to braid our struggles together. We need to remain united and organized is the only way to bring down this monster of injustice inform others outreach we are all in a bad way alone when we confront this monster of injustices we have to come together thank you all right all right so next person up is Bilal Ali. He's an organizer with the San Francisco Coalition on Homelessness. El próximo es Bilal Ali, que es un organizador con la coalición de homelessness en San Francisco. All power to the people! All power to the people! All power to the people! All right, I want to let you in on a little dirty secret. While this city is professing to care about his immigrant community and is professing to put up obstacles to Donald Trump's fascist deportation process. And why it professed to declare, declare this city a sanctuary city is a goddamn lie. Yes. If you are homeless in San Francisco, if you are homeless and you are an immigrant, There is no fucking sanctuary in this city. Not at all. It's bullshit. McCoppin Park, we're right here today because this park ties it in to Gongoyle Pass. It's a tie-in. It's a connection. It's a link. Because many times, homeless people and their plight and they're murdered by cops too are left out of the equation. McCoppin Park was a refuge for the homeless in this community right here. It was a place for them to come and to rest, to come to lay down, life-sustaining activities. Because they can't do it on the street because San Francisco has laws for homeless people that are in public spaces. It is criminal for them to be on the street. Currently, San Francisco 
spends 20.7 million of your dollars, your tax dollars, criminalizing homeless people in the form of harassment, mass citations, mass incarceration, mass beatings, and then Louis Gargoyle Patch case, and Jessica Williams case, and Mario Williams case, murder homeless people. Yeah, murderers. Of over the 1,400 people killed by law enforcement in this country. In 2015, 13 of them were homeless people. And those are the only ones we know of. So if you're a homeless and immigrant in San Francisco, and you've been criminalized because of your economic status, because of your status of being in poverty and homeless, and not because of your behavior, there is no fucking sanctuary. I want people to understand that. Now, that not only is this so-called bastion of progressivism and liberalism, city called St. Francis, not only that bullshit, look how it treats. You want to judge this thing? Look how it treats. It's most vulnerable. Those who are existing on the precipice of survival every goddamn day. This park was a refuge for homeless people to escape the citations, escape the jailing, escape the harassment, escape the beatings, and in many cases the murders by coming to a public park that you pay for. Right, right. So now, Sam against Sam, this clearly, the closing of that copy part clearly illustrates San Francisco's continued effort to criminalize the poor and the homeless. Not only that, they have taken it a step further. They are now entrapping people. You know what entrapment means? That when the law forces you into an illegal activity beyond your control, that's entrapment. By forcing these, by fencing this park up and forcing these people out of this park, it forces them back on the sidewalk where they're further criminalized. You understand what I'm saying? Right. That's right. called entrapment. So San Francisco is now entrapping poor and homeless people. So there is a tie-in. As Martin Luther King said, an injury of one is an injury of all. $20.7 million a year. That is enough money to issue out 1,300 subsidies to poor and homeless families. But instead, they invested back in law enforcement, back into our Blue Klux Klan members right here. So we must understand that and not forget the homeless and make those connections. Gentrification is connected to homelessness. Why? Because the police are used as stormtroopers for gentrification and they act as agents for neighborhood bigotry. Am I right, boys? Right. 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 So understand that. Understand that. I just want to wrap this up. If you're tired of seeing homeless people get this, bump your fist. If you're tired of seeing homeless people with handcuffs on your wrist, bump your fist. If living in San Francisco's got you pissed, bump your fist. Thank you. All power to the people. So uh, next up we have a little bit of theater for you guys. Um, uh, the theater is gentrification for for us. Teatro de los Pobres and Theater of the Poor will be hosting that. Gentrification tours are us. We the people, communities of color, abuelitas, abuelitos, tias, mamás, papás, sobrinos, sobrinitos, who have cared for community, our barrio, our barrio community who little by little are disappearing. Aquí estamos y no nos vamos. We the people. This barrio, this street, this tree, this garden, this flower for generations, centuries, and time beyond Gregorian. Missionary calendars have been displaced by the forces of money, of power, of estate speculation, corporate theft, corporate government, philanthropic, redevelopment, and greed. Gentrification. 
and now only exist as a cultural memory, an artifact, a reference, a brush stroke, an exhibit, a dream to be studied and theorized, painted over, documented, and or forgotten and erased completely as though we were never here. Gentrification tours are us. <laughs> Exists to document the theft, reclaim, and take back the stolen spaces, memories, images, pictures, lives, and dreams. To tour and document the default colonizers and the 21st century missionaries. To erase and colonize culture and cultural stealers. To reinsert ourselves and stolen landmark and to reclaim what little of us might still be left. Gentrification tours are us. Coming soon to a redeveloped, gentrified, displaced neighborhood. I just want to say quickly, Mucho honor y honor para Luis Dimitro Gungarapat for all the ancestors who are no longer here. And the whole point of this teatro, this theater of gentrification tours are us, is because now all we are is murals. All we are is art exhibits. All we are is philanthropic dance pieces. But that can't happen anymore because the first colonization happened 535 years ago and we will not let it happen again. So just so you know, the next tour stop is the recent gentrified Avalon Theater, right? Alamo. Alamo Theater, interestingly called the Alamo that we will be visiting in May. And we hope you all enjoy us. Take a nap back. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, everybody, we have a date with the mayor. We've got to go to City Hall and let him know what we think right there. So we're going to go all the way down Market, South of this, and straight to City Hall. It's a stretch. We're almost there. There's some water out there. If your your knee hurt or something, where are the medics? Can I can the medics just raise their hands? They're back there. Okay, you need something, they even have a few in the snacks. We can go check them out, okay? Or they can go check you out. Okay, so Gonzante, Jose, take it away. Skateboarders, join us. Now you just know they're going to force us on one side of market. We don't got enough people to take the whole street. Not with this battering ram, they won't. Just like how I cut off the, the one guy. <laughs> <laughs> on a bike. I like the weed. They really like that. Yeah, well, you know, we're press people, dude, so, you know, I have a, I can go through the line of the police line. here on one of the main avenues of gentrification here in San Francisco, Valencia Street. Yeah, there we go. Perfect for the city. 
City Hall. Well, he's not going to be at City Hall. You know that. He's never there. I am going to try and build that for May Day. They're going to want us to get in front of them. Let's just go ahead and we'll play along. They have their little line. Just so you know, I'm here because I love you, man. I want your children to know what freedom is. Your grandchildren never to know tyranny. This is going to be fun. Let's stand the right hand side. Let's stand the right hand side. Ain't no power to fight the people. We got that to contend with. What's up? I said we got the rail to contend with. Unless we're going to take all of Market Street. Bro. No, we're not. We're only going to get. They're only going to give us half the street. They don't want us blocking traffic of the whole city. Yeah, I should have brought my bike. Yeah, well. <laughs> the next one, we'll figure out how to turn this uh, wheelchair into a pair of forks for a bicycle. Okay. Blocking the whole street. That bus there goes right by my house. And Berkeley. I know, they were only going to give us half the street. They already got my picture anyways, dude. It's not so much that they got my picture. It's just the, the guy that's going to pull me over because he recognizes me from the oh. police parade. <laughs> Steal my next car. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's got to have those little...